It is in these moments, when we have to fight to save someone's life, that we remember all the years of study in which we dedicated ourselves to learn and comprehend the marvelous human machine. All those days spent in classrooms, dedicated to knowing and simulating emergency situations that we would later come to face in real life. Technology has changed our life. The way we communicate, the way by which we see and comprehend the world and all that goes on around us. It has also changed how we learn and teach. The pilot of a large airplane, for example, spends many, many hours in a flight simulator before he takes the responsibility of hundreds of lives in his hands. And in medicine, things couldn't be any different. The Berkeley Training Network has brought simulation technology to Brazil at their centers located in Rio de Janeiro, São Paulo, and Minas Gerais. Modern patient simulators emulate specific clinical scenarios, enabling healthcare professionals to do as airline pilots, logging flight hours before takeoff. We have found that companies with health-related products are now aware that the most effective means to introduce new technology, products and drugs is by investing in training the healthcare professional. For in the end, it is the trained healthcare professional who will justify and implement these new products and methods in medical practice. The purpose of this video is to invite you to learn what technology has created so that doctors, nurses and physical therapists may learn through lifelike emergency situations and all their associated complexities without submitting real patients to life-threatening situations. We now invite you to learn about the first continuing education course in intensive therapy with a real patient simulator. Ethics is a fundamentally practical course in which the direct contact with the patient simulator exposes the participants to the most complex clinical scenarios imaginable. The scenarios simulated in our two-day course reproduce experiences that a student would only encounter over one month spent exploring the physiopathologic, diagnostic and therapeutic events in an ICU. The simulator, which is comprised of the most advanced resources technology can offer, responds immediately and precisely to even the smallest variation in the virtual patient's clinical state, presenting the student with lifelike reactions to all the usual medical procedures. This modern state-of-the-art equipment enables students to interact with the patient in the most varied and complex medical scenarios. It was developed by the same corporation that created simulators for NASA and Boeing. It enables the simulation of the most diverse clinical scenarios in an extremely real and intense fashion. Polytrauma, intracranial pressure, convulsive seizures, barotrauma, volemic recuperation, sedation, lung, kidney and heart failure, Cardiac arrhythmia, electrolytic imbalances, cardiogenic shock, sepsis, ARDS, digestive bleeding, CPR, pulmonary embolism, multiple organ failure. The Berkeley Training Center offers modern facilities that enable all course participants to experience, discuss, and develop their knowledge and skills to handle the most complex emergency situations. The enormous success of this training tool developed in technologically advanced countries enables the simulation of delicate clinical scenarios in which the students may pursue different approaches in diagnosing and determining the adequate therapeutic action for each situation. In all, 12 different clinical scenarios are presented in such a fashion that all the participants in each group may work with the simulator. 
Each one of these scenarios is lived by two students who take turns so that everyone in the group of only 24 participants can follow every one of the procedures and monitor the patient's response from the adjoining auditorium by means of audio and video monitors. Technical discussions are presided by highly trained, well-prepared instructors. One week before the course, the participants receive a manual which presents the sequence of diagnostic and therapeutic procedures related to the clinical scenarios that are to be simulated. The manual also provides a listing of basic reference readings as well as the instructor's tips and recommendations for the participants to get the most of the course. Today, more than ever, technology is helping us to preserve lives. It is extremely important that we make the best use of this new technology to ethically train healthcare professionals, thus better enabling them to face the challenges and difficulties they face from day to day. In an era where the distances between the five continents diminish at every heartbeat, with a minimal risk to the passengers, because airline pilots have dedicated countless hours simulating all the possible emergencies, medical science now begins to benefit from this winning technology and tallies the lives it will be able to save.